This four hour of independent oh, study oh, oh, clause oh, 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 yikes. that the Arizona Cardinals put into Kyler Murray's contract trended all night last night for good reason. Oh, yeah. Because I believe everybody's expectations of an NFL quarterback is like what Peyton and Tom and Aaron yeah. and Drew and these guys are at the top of the game who spend just countless hours trying to learn everything they can about the team they're playing and the team that they're playing for and the sport that they play professionally. It's almost like you're just expected to do so from a fan's eyes. Like that just yeah. comes with the job. Like, hey, you're a quarterback in the NFL. If you want to be worth a fuck, like you're going to have to watch film. I think a lot of people just assumed that happened. Mm -hmm. Without a doubt. I think people, because they hear these stories of all the great quarterbacks being like, well, film, I had to watch film, film, film. It's almost like just synonymous with greatness in the NFL is film study. So, so much so that when Gronk said on uh, Monday Night Manning or whatever that he didn't watch film, Tom just watched film for him, it became a big backlash because everybody just expects that everybody watches film. It's your fucking job. What do you do all day, every day? You get to play football for a lot of money. It's just kind of synonymous with it. I, too, thought that was the case as well, strictly because when I was in the NFL, I was very fucking lucky to watch a human robot play quarterback in the NFL for the first couple of years, yeah. three years. Peyton Manning is what? Him and Tom are just known to be the most prepared guys, yeah. Yeah. the most successful guys, cerebral guys. Like, mm -hmm. hey, these guys are going to know the game inside and out. I remember having a conversation with him, and this wasn't, you know, after this Kyler Murray information came out. This was, like, years ago, but I had to rack my mind for it. I, like, I remember talking, because I think I was at his house or, yeah, I think I was at his house, and there was, like, a movie theater off of, like, his bedroom and, like, living room. I think, what, I, I, I'm pretty sure, I, I might be misremembering this, but I remember asking, like, oh, this is a pretty interesting spot to have this. And it was like, oh, yeah, I like to watch film in here, obviously. He has the full setup for him. It's a full thing. Has his remote, and then he's able to just kind of do it so he doesn't have to stay at the facility until 2 a.m., 3 a.m. He can go do mm. this shit at home. Mm -hmm. And then I heard stories from, like, Clyde Christensen, who's the quarterback coach now for the Buccaneers, was for Peyton Manning for a long time, and Andrew Luck. He's like, the amount of calls I get, like, 3 a.m. in the morning, 2.30 a.m., and I better have a fucking answer. I think Clyde even had to move, like, a computer or something into his bed bedroom so that when Peyton found something on film and asked him a question about it and if he had seen it or prepared for it he could go through it it's like the amount of hours in preparation and film study mm -hmm. just kind of was synonymous with Peyton Manning and I think these other guys that are up there so whenever the internet and I think I remember asked him I, I think I remember asking him like how much film do you watch how, how much film do you my position I mean okay I can watch return a couple of times you like a highball he doesn't like a highball guess what we're doing Huh. We're hitting this fucking hot. Yeah. We're this fucking hot. <laughs> he doesn't like a line drive ball. Okay, guess what we're doing? We're hitting a little bit of a line drive ball. This guy is a nightmare. Try to keep it away from him. Like, that's the whole thing. But I remember, like, getting into a convo with him. Like, how much you watch? And he dove into, like, oh, you got to watch got to watch every game the other team has played, every snap they've played, every practice clip from your week of practice, every game you guys have played that plays against a similar defense that they're playing, every single third down situation broke up into their red zone, every first down operation. He's, hey, I think he went through it all, and I, I, I think I, like, prodded him a little bit. And he was like, I don't know, probably 20 hours of film yeah. a week? Jeez. <laughs> This on his own, that's not me. Yeah. Yeah. And I, he said he couldn't even put a number. Like, it would be impossible because he's even Saturday into Sunday mm -hmm. morning, there's mm -hmm. just like, how can I get more information? The more information I have, the better I will be equipped to beat that defense. And then you hear Tom talk about his preparation. He was even on Monday Night Manning last year. And I think he was playing Seattle the next week. And uh, Seattle was either on Monday Night Football. And there was a moment where Tom got lost. He... I, I think he forgot he was even on a fucking show because it was past his bedtime anyway, especially uh -huh. for a Monday night. He started, like, watching the film real quick. The defense he had, like, a, a sky shot on, like, the defense. And you see him, like, almost get, like, intoxicated mm -hmm. with the film real quick. And then he, like, snaps out of it. And then he's, like, back into the conversation. I've just always heard that the greats are all film junkies. Can you become a film junkie? I guess is what we're going to find out with this whole thing. But everybody was alarmed and perturbed. And my second follow-up was, or my second thought was, who leaked this? Yeah. No, there's nobody that wants this information out there. And Ian Rapport said, you know, he already, he already does four hours independent yeah. study. They just wanted well, to commit to okay. it long term. It's like, all right, well, this has never happened in the history of football. Uh, this clause mm -hmm. to do four hours. And if they just wanted to hammer it home, why didn't they put 10 hours? Yeah. You yeah. know, like what? It's 20. just, and with the way iPads are, the modern iPads, um, like, you know exactly how much everybody watches. And to Jason McCordy's point, like, 
if that's what Kyler's been able to accomplish with not having yeah. a fucking clue what's going on and not being able to look for things himself, and maybe he doesn't know how to watch film, so maybe they should get him a guy to sit with him and break down film with him so that he can see it as an advantage as opposed to more work. Maybe he'll get excited to break down a defense that he's about to slaughter on a Sunday as opposed to sniping somebody out of a helicopter uh. on Call of Duty. Maybe this is something that they can do. So this clause, in the end, hopefully will take Kyler to that next level, but fucking alarming, I think, for everybody, including Cardinals fans who are like, wait, you publicly said yeah. we want the biggest contract of all time kind of held the organization hostage oh yeah kind of kind of like publicly yep. said hey your team stunk without us and they had to have known because the ipad's still exactly yeah. and then they're like all right hey here's a meet in the middle if you can commit more than just what you do here in a day like every other quarterback that has ever won a super bowl basically we will do this deal he committed to it they committed to it we'll see how it pans out in four years well and i think to your point too though it's like if you're insanely talented like he is like physically gifted athletically gifted like you can go 11 and 6 you can go 10 and 7 like you can absolutely do that but if you're that four hours is the bare minimum it's like hey we want you to do the yeah. bare minimum of your job hey it stinks too by the way for sure but it stinks there's only a couple people that have your job though but you look at guys like peyton and tom and aaron who have talked about it like you you can absolutely gain stuff from watching film and watching a bunch of film and being prepared and it's like at a certain point you probably have to do that when you get late into the playoffs when those teams know exactly what you're trying to do and you can't just rely on I can throw a bomb here or I can fucking pick up the first down with my feet. Like eventually you're gonna have to kind of outsmart them. Two and four, two and three, two and three down the stretch. Let's see what it happens next year. What does JJ Watt think of this? He's so that's what I'm wondering. Like how many of the teammates heard about this? Jason McCordy talks about what are the ramifications across the locker room? Like, did yeah. everybody know that this guy because you could easily see how some people would be like, you disrespectful. Yeah. yeah. I commit my entire life to this. My entire some of those older guys, like, hey, we came out here because of how good you were. Do you, I get three hours of PT three times a week just yeah. so I can do practice in a game? It's no fun. My body hurts like fucking hell. But we're in this together as a team. I thought we were doing this. So I I am that's why I think neither team neither side wanted this information out. I don't know. I don't think any either side wanted this out or whatever. Yeah. Well, they talk about it too. Like it just kind of highlights like the immaturity. Like when you have to put in there, like he's watching film, he's not watching film and playing video games. Or face, it's like, face clans. are you face fucking clans kidding hole? me? This guy's he's making one hundred and sixty million dollars. He's a quarterback in the NFL. Like it's crazy. But he's really fucking good. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Think about, think about him. Just oh, I'll show up. I'll go through the meetings. All right. What if I don't get it right on the test on Saturday? You're not. You're gonna start me. I'm a ball. And then um, if this doesn't work, I'll go play professional baseball mm -hmm. and probably fucking get paid there. Mm -hmm. And then I'm also gonna be a professional Call of Duty player, which is another gig that just pays well. Kyler Murray is just maybe the most chill dude of all time. Yeah. That just bounces around being great at shit that you're not supposed to be great at. I hope this clause takes him to the fucking yeah. to the moon. It'd be incredible. His size, the amount of information that he could potentially gain from his own, like, oh, I've realized that when I have this setup that maybe a coach can't see, uh, how do we get to this point? Well, this guy likes to do this, and then we can do this. How about when this guy's hands, you know, the white of his knuckles or the red mm -hmm. of his knuckles, you sure. know? Everybody remembers that from Remember the Titans. But wow. there's so much information that you can just continue to store and gain through film study um, that I've heard about. I mean, honestly, I wouldn't fucking have a clue how to watch yeah. a film like a quarterback. I would have no idea. So they should probably get somebody to be like, hey, Kyle, these are things you should potentially well, be looking for. You know what I mean? I'm I'm intrigued to hear his teammates' thoughts on it all. It, is, was Colt the backup? Is Colt McCoy the backup yeah, there? Yeah, he I mean, was. He's, he's been in the league a long time. He's been, a, he's been a backup for a long time, and he's been a good backup for a long time. I assume he's – if if the coaching staff asked or if Kyler asked, he would teach Kyler how to watch film. I would hope. Yeah, but how it's long? hundred – it could be defaulted. His contract could be defaulted. Yeah. Hundred some million dollars gone if he doesn't. It's in. I read the fucking thing. It's the bottom one. Default. Yeah. You could be found in default. That's like the whole contract can basically go. Which means it's a serious issue because you yes. wouldn't put that in there if it wasn't. Yeah. Well, and how yes. long is it, uh, it going to take for it to like actually register with him? Like I assume Mahomes was watching film the first couple of years, and he said last year, like I'm just now figuring out how to like decipher defenses in the game. So like even if he's watching four hours of film a week, like is he going to get it all of a sudden that like oh this is going to transition do, perfectly in the game? And do the 
if he does five hours one week, he do three hours the next week. Does that oh. count? Is there carryover? Is there discounts? Oh, rollover minutes. Yeah. Bye week doesn't have to. It's in there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Monday after uh, the season begins to when the season is over. Like right. the, the way it's worded is hilarious. And now uh, he, he always does it. Yeah. Not good. All right. Doubtful. Imagine if they put that in there for Joey Burrow's thing. I think Joey's big time mm -hmm. film guy from from sure. everything I've heard, or Mac Jones in there. Yeah, how disrespected would they feel? I think you'd just be like Mac that. Jones would feel so fucking disrespected. Yeah. I think like if you put that in Peyton's or Tom's, and be like, hey, by the way, need four hours of independent film study. He's like, get the fuck. I, I'll do however much I want to fuck it. Yeah, I think they'd you be know? like, all right, fine, make it forty. Yeah. No, yeah. I don't think they say make it forty. I think they say, hey, why don't you fucking watch film for when I ask you a question? Mm -hmm. Like that's, you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So them saying like he already does this, it's like, well then Kyler should be fucking offended then. Yeah, exactly. That's, you know what I mean? Like, we ah, wild, because that team is awesome. Mm -hmm. That team is in one of the nicest cities on planet Earth. That city has an owner that's going all in. They got studs on that team. Yeah. They're hosting the Super Bowl next year. I don't like hearing this about Kyler, but hey, Kyler's going to grow, and that's why clauses happen.